गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम अगेन टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट चैप्टर सिक्स नेम ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज लर्निंग एज यू ओल नो एट द टाइम ऑफ बर्थ एवरी ह्यूमन बेबी इज इक्विप्ड विद द कैपेसिटी टू मेक अ लिमिटेड नंबर ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सेज दिस रिस्पॉन्सेज अकर रिफ्लेक्टिवली वेन एवर अप्रोप्रिएट स्टूमलाई प्रेजेंट इन द एनवायरमेंट एज अ चाइल्ड ग्रोस एंड मेच्योर he or she become capable of making diverse type of responses this include identifying the images of some persons as one's father mother grandfather grandmother using a spoon whenever eating food and learning how to identify alphabets to write to continue them into words so she or he also observe others doing things in specific environmental condition also imitates them so learning names of objects such as book orange mango cow girl and retaining them is another important task as one grows older one observe many events objects and learn their distinct feature objects are categorized as furniture food so on one also learns to drive a scooter car communicate with the uh, uh, become hard working and uh, in indolent socially knowledgeable skilled so each individual manages her or his life and solve all kind of problems because of the capacity to learn and adapt so in this chapter uh, we will focus on a psychological process second an account is presented that explain how one learns a number of learning method that account for simple to complex types of uh, in the course of learning so we will discuss about uh, the factor that determine the speed and extent of learning are described including different learning styles and learning disabilities so let's start with now with the definition learning is a key process in human behavior it refers to the spectrum of changes that take place as a result of one's experience learning may be defined as any relatively permanent change in behavior or behavioral potential produced by experience one must remember that some behavioral changes occur due to the use of drugs or fatigue such changes are temporary they are not considered learning changes due to practice and experience which are relatively permanent are illustrate of learning so a change in behavior as a result of experience of practice the acquisition of knowledge knowledge gained through study to gain knowledge of skilled and something through study teaching instruction or experience and the process of gaining knowledge is learning a process by which behavior is changed shaped and controlled is learning the individual process of constructing knowledge in, uh, based on experience from a wide range of sources is also learning here is nature and characteristics of learning so the first one is learning is the change in behavior second learning is a continuous lifelong process third one learning is a universal process fourth learning is purposive and goal directed learning involves reconstruction of experiences and learning is the product of activity and environment these are nature and characteristics of learning here are some more learning is transferable from one situation to another learning helps in attainment of teaching and learning objective learning helps in proper growth and development learning helps in balanced development of the personality learning helps in proper adjustment learning helps in realization of goal of life learning does not necessarily imply improvement so these are characteristics of learning now come to the features of learning the process of learning has a certain distinctive characteristics so the first feature is that learning always involves some kinds of experience we experience an event occurring in a certain sequence on a number of occasions if an event happens then it may be followed by certain other events for example i want to give you an example one learns that if the bell rings in the hostel after sunset then dinner is ready to be served repeated experience of satisfaction after doing something in a specified manner leads to the formation of habit sometimes a single experience can lead to learning a child strikes a match stick on the side of matchbox 
and gets his or her finger burnt. Such an experience makes a child learn to be careful in handling the matchbox in future. So this is experience. Second one is behavioral changes. Behavioral changes that occur due to the learning are relatively permanent. They must be distinguished from the behavioral changes that are neither permanent or nor learned. For example, changes in behavior often occur due to the effect of fatigue, habituation and drugs. Suppose you are reading your textbook of psychology for some time. If you are trying to learn how to drive a motor car, a time comes when you feel tired and you stop reading or driving. This is a behavioral change due to fatigue and is temporary. It is not considered learning. Let us take another case of change in one's behavior. Suppose in the vicinity means nearby of your residence a marriage is being performed. It generates, generates a lot of noise which continues till late night. In the beginning the noise distracts you from whatever you are doing. You feel disturbed. While the noise continues you make some orienting reflexes. These reflexes become weaker and weaker that, and then eventually become undetectable. This is also one kind of behavioral change. This change due to continuous exposure to stimuli, it is called habituation. It is not due to learning. You must have noticed that people who are in sedative or drugs or alcohol, their behavior change as it affects physiological function. Such changes are temporary in nature and disappear as the effect wears out. So learning involves a sequence of psychological events this will become clear if experiment uh, this will become clear if we were to describe a typical learning experiment suppose psychologists are interested in understanding how a list of words is learned they will go through the following sequence do a, a pretest to know how much the person knows before learning present the list of words to be remembered for a focused fixed time during this time the list of words is processed towards acquiring new knowledge and next, after processing is complete, new knowledge is acquired. This is learning. And after some time uh, elapses, the process information is recalled by the person by comparing the number of words which a person now knows as compared to what she or he knew in the pretest. One inf infers that learning did take place. So learning is an unfair process and is different from performance. Performance is a person's observed behavior or response or action. Let us understand what is meant by the term in inference. Suppose you are asked by your teacher to memorize a poem. You read that poem a number of times. Then you see that you have learned the poem. That you have learned the poem. You are asked to recite the poem. You are able to recite it. And the recitation of the poem by you is your performance on the basis of your performance the teacher infers that you have learned the poem so that's it for today next time we will move further thank you